The ability to copy settings or bulk process is a great way to save time when working on any number of images, whether you have two images that are almost the same or very similar, taking in the same light, or like here where I have a whole series of shots capturing the tide at different moments. It's just the perfect way to work on one image, get everything looking just right, and then you can just instantly apply all of those settings to all of the other images. So with your main processed image selected, just hold down the shift key and then click on the final image that you would like to bulk process or copy the settings from the original image to all of the others. And then all we need to do is click on the sync button and that brings up the sync controls. So what we can do here is we can copy everything that's been applied to the images by clicking on check all. So everything is selected or we can check none and then just go through and just choose the odd thing that is important to all of those images. So I'm going to click on check all and I know for a fact that mask four was specifically applied to this area here. So I'm not going to include that. I'm going to exclude that by unchecking it. And now all that I need to do is hit synchronize. And then you'll see that all of those images have been updated with those same settings. So what I'm going to do here is select two images that I'm going to open up into Photoshop and then I'm going to show you how you can copy adjustment layers from one image to another so that you're essentially only working on one image again but then applying all of the same adjustments and it is just a very simple drag and drop process. So I'm going to go for this first one and 36 as well. So I would normally export these as 16-bit TIFFs, but for the sake of speed, I'm just going to select Edit In and then Edit In Photoshop 2023. Okay, so here we have the two images opened up into Photoshop and they're just in separate tags. So I'm going to work on the original image first and I'm just going to apply a random set of adjustments. So let's boost the levels and add a touch more contrast and we can lighten the image slightly. So that's one very quick, simple adjustment. I am going to create a black and white adjustment layer which I will then change to luminosity and then I can just increase the luminosity of different colors in the scene. So I'm going to take the blues down slightly and if we just move over here let's have a look at the yellow. So I probably be really careful with that but I just want to get more brightness over here and then if we look at the reds so I think there's reds in the metal groin here so that's another adjustment and let's just make another one so I'm going to take another black and white adjustment layer and just desaturate the image ever so slightly so just taking a tiny amount of color out of there so there we have three different adjustment layers or four should I say because we have a group and rather than manually applying them in our second image here, we can do that instantaneously. So what I'm going to do is just grab this image and drag it down. But what you can do is go to Window and Arrange. And if you want to, you can split the screen so that you could just drag those layers from one to the other, but then you've got to go back and change it to a single tab afterwards. So it's just as easy to do it this way. So if I just drag that image down here, so now if I just select all of those layers, so I clicked on the top one, held down shift, clicked on levels one, and then just drag them over to the other image and you'll see that those effects were applied to that shot. So that's the second one. So there we have all of our images in place and that's how easy it is to copy settings using adjustment layers from one shot to another. Now one thing that I must point out here is that it's 
best not to copy over pixel based layers. So if you've done anything like any cloning or anything that's based on the exact content of the image on a pixel level, that's not going to translate. So it's only really effects like this that are going to work. But it is, again, a great time saver.